Along comes Temjin. Temjin Imna along. Our guest today. Very good morning. Welcome. Good morning. We have travelled all the way to Dimapur to be with you. Thank you so much. You do you realize sometimes Temjin that you are a social media celebrity? That people uh, enjoy what you put on uh, your tweets? I have come to know that a little bit lately, uh -huh. and I think that to take forward with a little bit of a narrative uh -huh. always you know regenerates the mind and the soul for the people right like what jaise aapka ek tweet tha jisme you are doing this uh, sweeping and you are saying chalo photo ke liye kiya par karna chahiye oh absolutely because it's a uh, genuine thing uh -huh. we shouldn't just uh, do it for the sake of doing it uh -huh. obviously with the swachh bharat abhiyan uh -huh. and with the initiative to make sure that our towns and cities and our villages are clean uh -huh. for the photo op uh -huh. i had to do that and uh -huh. a little bit of that but then it, factuals have to be shown right. and factuals have to be promoted right but it got a lot of traction mm -hmm. but let's begin by understanding who's temjin you see aapke bare mein logon ko aapke tweet se pata chalta hai ki aap nagaland bjp president hain but ये सडन सेलिब्रिटी के पीछे यू हैव बीन प्रेसिडेंट फॉर फाइव इयर्स आप नागालैंड में बीजेपी के साथ कैसे आए पॉलिटिक्स में कैसे आए जरा बताइए प्लीज टेल अस नो आई जॉइन द भारतीय जनता पार्टी इन द ईयर 2013 एंड देन आई वर्क्ड इन द बीजेपी पार्टी एज अ कार्यकर्ता एंड देन इन 2018 इलेक्शंस I contested, uh -huh. and by God's grace, uh -huh. and the people's support, uh -huh. I won, uh -huh. and came to the thirteenth legislative assembly. Uh -huh. So that's the journey of my being in the BJP party. I was really, you know, amazed by the leadership, yeah. especially of Atalji. Uh -huh. You know, uh, when we were young, uh -huh. we used to see him. Uh -huh. We used to see his commitment to the nation. Uh -huh. and such a statesman uh -huh. and to be in a party where leaders like atal ji is there uh -huh. and today modi ji is there uh -huh. the icon of the uh -huh. nation uh -huh. so it really gives strength uh -huh. you know to try to serve people right we are not perfect i am not perfect uh -huh. but then to be able to want to serve people and to try to do that Uh -huh. to empower people uh -huh. that's the reason how i came into politics and into the bharatiya janata party right but your journey with the bjp has two strands one is you connecting with the bjp the other is bjp because it is seen as uh, or till recently it was seen as a very hindi heartland party not now of course but till recently so your story is also the kind of celebrity you are getting the kind of uh, name you are getting mainstreaming of northeast with the mainland like what maricom did to sports perhaps you are doing to politics by making people in the mainland think about northeast and think about it as absolutely normal part of india you get that sense absolutely huh. see one of the biggest issue is that uh being a celebrity or not is not the issue for me uh -huh. because i keep on doing what i have to do uh -huh. and then uh, even though we may be so called politicians today uh -huh. we are the same normal people uh -huh. except with some more uh, workloads uh -huh. of making policy laws uh -huh. and then to be able to empower people and to see the change happen uh -huh. some happens gradually uh -huh. some happens immediately uh -huh. those are the things nahi right, but mai jo keh raha hu ki uh, north east thoda dur ka hissa dikhta hai nagaland hai manipur hai mizoram hai par aapne jo kuch kiya hai hindi mein aap jo baat karte hain tweet karte hain to logo ko lagta hai ki ye to hamara hi hai hissa hai hamara hissa hai aur dusri baat ki bjp bhi uh, accept ho rahi hai एज अ पोलिटिकल पार्टी नॉर्थ ईस्ट में नागालैंड में त्रिपुरा में सरकार बनी है नॉर्थ ईस्ट के और स्टेट्स में अरुणाचल में तो यू थिंक यू थिंक ये जो अलग थोड़ा कुछ समय पहले तक देखा जाता था नॉर्थ ईस्ट को वो कम हुआ है हाँ बहुत कम हुआ है देखो ए 
एक्चुअली पूर्वोत्तर जो है भारत की भागी है और हमारी बहुत बड़े बड़े नेताएं निकल रहे के आया है आज आप देख सकते हैं हेमंत विश्व शर्मा जी किरण रिजिजू जी शर्मंदा सोनोवाल जी रमेश्वर तेली जी ना इवन प्रतिमा भौमिक जी और मुख्यमंत्रियों में भी हो तो आज चाहे अलग अलग पार्टी से हो छा के है मगर आई वुड जस्ट पुट इट डेट कि एक सामान्य तरीका से हम अपने विचारों को या हमारी सोच जो भी सोच विचार है उन चीज़ों को आ, हमारी पर्सनालिटी के साथ उसको ट्वीट में या सोशल मीडिया में फेसबुक में उन चीज़ों को लेके चलते हैं एंड जस्ट ट्राई टू बी एबल टू कनेक्ट विद द पीपल हैज हिंदी प्लेट सम रोल इन इट जरूर राष्ट्रीय भाषा है लोग समझते हैं लोग आ, अपने जो भी विचार है क्योंकि द हिंदी हार्ट लैंड ऑब्वियसली हैज ए ह्यूज पॉपुलेशन एंड सी द नॉर्मल पार्ट इज दैट एवरी वन इज ट्राइंग टू प्रज्यूम थिंग्स अबाउट ईच अदर बट एक्चुअली वी आर द सेम पीपल वी मे लुक ए लिटल बिट डिफरेंट आवर फूडिंग हैबिट मे बी ए लिटल बिट डिफरेंट बट वेयर इन दिस कंट्री यू नो आवर फूडिंग हैबिट आवर ट्रेडिशन आवर कल्चर इज द सेम इट्स नॉट द सेम एवरीवेयर सो द डाइवर्सिटी विथ विच दिस ग्रेट नेशन कॉल भारत is there huh. we have to accept that to kuch kissa bataiye na aap because you have lived in delhi you have lived in mumbai koi experience aapko jo laga ke ye aisa nahi hona chahiye par phir bhi ye diversity ka hissa hai you are sporting aapne accept kiya nahi dekho pehle to hamare liye to bahut sare baatein ho sakte hain kyunki hamari size thoda alag hai aur dekhne mein thoda alag hai wo alag baat hai ki bahut sare समय में मतलब भारत देश के वासी जो उस तरफ में रहते हैं हम लोग वो लोग सोचते हैं कि नागालैंड या मिजोरम एकदम अलग सभाग की तरह सोचते हैं ना कि क्योंकि देखने में अलग है पहले तो मैं आपको देखूंगा तो मैं बोलता अच्छा ही इज फ्रॉम नॉर्थ इंडिया ऐसा हम लोग सोचते हैं ना तो मगर हमारे जैसे लोगों को देखते हैं हाँ। तो पहले सोचते हैं ये कोई ओरिएंटल हाँ। हाँ। चीनी होगा हाँ। हाँ। ना जापनी होगा हाँ। ऐसा कुछ बात सोचते हैं हिंदी क्वाइट वेल इट इज आई थिंक जस्ट दस basic thing that i put it forward in a little bit different way uh-huh. in a little bit humorous way uh-huh. or uh, you know pa ye kidhar se aata hai aapka humor like is it practice or is it natural i think it is inbuilt in each and every one of us uh-huh. being in politics uh-huh. so many uh, negativities are around us uh-huh. but then if you try to take the humorous side of each one of us mm-hmm. you know and then just take it forward without having the ego uh-huh. of uh, trying to you know self uh, pride uh-huh. without trying to keep it i uh-huh. think it brings much laughter today in our, in this uh, young generation especially and you are young uh, absolutely how old are you i'm 43 43 43 uh-huh that's young for politics absolutely uh-huh. and my central leaders have been and you have been a minister for 5 years yes almost. and a party president for 5 years almost yeah so you're saying something ha huh? no in today's times especially we the youngsters who are not only politicians but also entrepreneurs or social entrepreneurs or uh-huh. professionals uh-huh. in every way uh-huh. uh, बहुत सारे प्रेशर होता है ना कि हाँ। हमें अपना प्रेस्टीज मेंटेन करना है हाँ। वो भी ठीक ठाक है आप यू नो टू मेंटेन दैट ईगो टू एग्रेशन टूवर्ड्स एवरीथिंग यू नो गो गेट इट एंड ऑल दोस थिंग्स बट आई टेक इट इन अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ अ डिफरेंट वे आई से दैट देखो थिंग्स विल कीप ऑन हैपनिंग वी हैव टू बी कंसिस्टेंट 
we have to be persistent towards uh. what we want to see the change uh. and take a collective view about everything main aapke upar hasunga to aap bura manega main apne aap ke upar hasega to kyun dusra bura manega is that is that the guiding thought in your tweets <laughs> absolutely <laughs> all right so let because you mentioned politics let's talk about some politics as well you are nagaland bjp president and i was talking about uh, your hindi tweets uh, mainstreaming northeast in the mainland there is mainstream bjp nagaland bjp president i am asking this to you mainstreaming of bjp in the northeast has happened over the last few years mm -hmm. what according to you are the reasons that this has happened see it's not to flatter uh -huh. many may disagree uh -huh. but the face of narendra modi ji uh -huh. and the policies that his government has adopted uh -huh. has actually taken the villagers the poor people the common people in a very unexpected manner uh -huh. you know I wouldn't like to take your you know interview to promote huh. you know the honorable prime minister schemes but huh. it is the truth uh -huh. you look at the the pradhan mantri garib kalyan and but specific to northeast what has happened the kind of development that is being pushed forward uh -huh. the kind of infrastructure development that is coming in uh -huh. you know the kind of uh, reach out that is happening uh -huh. it's uh, unprecedented i think in this 8 years the notice has seen more central ministers coming in to ask and to see the problems of the people mm -hmm. than that has happened in the past 67 years mm -hmm. so you can see today you have come here mm -hmm. maybe you must, must not have come to nagaland before mm -hmm. just to be able to know and meet people the way we are uh -huh. you know then it really brings a sea change to the policy making towards the people groups that are here temjin you were talking about uh, this uh, narrative building the change of narrative have you faced any challenges uh, during these last 5 years absolutely challenges have always been faced uh -huh. it is because like you have always spoken to me in during our conversation the narrative of mainstreaming mm -hmm. not just politics mm -hmm. yeah of course the state yeah the people uh -huh. with the country with bharat with india is actually not just geographical alone it is emotional and also practical so those challenges have always been there a specific example now you see uh, it is very improper to mention but after more than 72 years of our you know nation's independence or more than say 58 years of the statehood just a year or two ago the national anthem was being sung in our assembly mm -hmm. that was during arun ravi ji's mm -hmm. governorship mm -hmm. so like that you know uh, the way of our life huh. we have taken very normally that we are different completely different uh -huh. yes we are unique politically huh. but as a people we cannot be different any other challenge you faced in terms of uh Uh, bringing in national i was talking about uh, you know mainstreaming of bjp in the northeast that kind of nationalist versus regionalist narrative you see it depends on if i always say that if people speak are speaking too ill of the other party that means you know there must be something different about it when we brought in the asti of our former uh, yes. prime minister shri atal ji there was a lot of hue and cry you know in our state as if uh, hinduism was being promoted or all those things but we had our people have forgotten that when uh, indira ji's uh, ashes were thrown all over nagaland during the congress regime you know so 
I think there was a lot of hue and cry on the uh, resurgence for the Asiya Watalji. I think it was actually a pride for us right. that India is a country right. and all of its different states, you know, coming together for a national icon like Atalji, who always, uh, you know, stood for national integration, always believed in the diversity, but the unity of our country. Is so, Nagaland for that reason more nationalist now, can it be said? No, Nagas are actually, I would put it, very nationalist, right. provided we have the narrative to carry it forward. We have the right perception towards it. Bravery doesn't come just because of eating meat. You know, Nagas are known for that. It comes out of the, you know, heart for one's nation, for one's people. And if the right narrative is built with the Naga people, I think there is no doubt. You have seen that in Kargil. Yes. You have seen that with the regiments. You have seen how dedicated the Naga soldiers are or the Naga people can be. So we have to just allow the narrative and the transition to happen ideologically and emotionally in the right way. So you have talked about the Bhavnao, so let's talk about the North East, specific to Nagaland. Uh, politics are by its very nature, <coughs> by the very nature complex, you know. But in the case of Nagaland, there is this issue of peace talks going on, accord that was signed, details awaited. Uh, uh, with that overhang, what has changed in the last five years that can, that makes you in your campaign go to the people and say, this is what we have changed? See, there are a lot of uh, people mm -hmm. who may say huh. that uh, we couldn't, let me sit here, this is better. Yeah, better. Uh, you know, do this or do that with regards to the peace process and all those things. Mm -hmm. But just look, the insurgency problem of the uh, Naga people, mm -hmm. the political issue of the Naga people, mm -hmm. it has been there for ages. Mm -hmm. Look at the dynamic step that was taken in 2015 in, on August 3rd uh -huh. to sign the framework agreement uh -huh. with the NEC and IM. Yes. One of the oldest group yes. in the Northeast. You know, then with the NNPGs too. Uh -huh. Isn't that not a commitment? Uh -huh. And has it meant more peace on the ground? Absolutely. Less violence? Absolutely. Uh, I hear, for example, this demand that if some districts from Assam can, uh, the AFSPA can be removed from Assam, why not Nagaland? No, uh, many police stations um, uh, have been removed from AFSPA in Nagaland also. Mm -hmm. And the Honorable Union Home Minister Amit Shah Ji has been really keen. And last time also when he came, he said, as peace progresses, as things go better, uh, he looks forward to removing our ASPA from many more areas of the state. That can happen over the next five years? Possible. Mm -hmm. Provided we long forward and we work towards peace, right. towards development, towards uh, you know cutting down on all the other issues of extortion and all those things yes. that are still prevalent. You think, you, because you have been part of the government, you think you have worked in that direction? This extortion band hona chahiye? Oh, absolutely. Uh, is that the region, reason why, for example, a group like NNPG, while they praise central BJP, they say, no, Temjan ke saath problem hai? No. Actually, sometimes miscommunication happens. Mm -hmm. And I believe that uh, as a young person, I may not be able to completely decipher how they want things or what they want things. Mm -hmm. But for me, Whatever the issue, I am the state president of the National Party mm -hmm. of the BJP in the state of Nagaland. And I have to follow certain ways and certain uh, rules of which I cannot go beyond that. Mm -hmm. Because being a national party, mm -hmm. I am answerable to Delhi. I am right. answerable to my central leaders. Right. And those are those steps which I always try to, you know, practice 
and those are those things which I try to avoid also. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I try to avoid the media. Uh -huh. I am there. You have taken me. That's a different thing. You have taken me. In Kopche. Me le liya. <laughs> this is typical Mumbai. Aap, have you lived in Mumbai? Yes, I have lived in Mumbai for some time. Uh, and doing what? I was working in some companies uh -huh. and I was also enterprising. Uh -huh. And what was your experience like living in Mumbai from Nagaland? Nagaland boy going to live, stay in Mumbai. No, I've learned a lot of things. Mm -hmm. did, did, you, did you see an, see India from a very different eye after living in Mumbai? Oh, absolutely. Mumbai is the part and parcel of India, but Mumbai has its own spirit. Mm -hmm. It has its own, you know, Mumbai kar wala mm -hmm. baat hai waha. Aapka wo zawan pe rahe gaya abhi tak. Oh, absolutely. And uh, what, what is the difference you found between Delhi and Mumbai, for example? Delhi absolutely is a very, uh, I would say, political, mm -hmm. politically charged. Right environment. Uh -huh. uh, Mumbai is a very chilled out, right. practical, right. very practically charged environment. Right. So there are two different things. Okay. Coming back to politics, some quick five questions. Uh, a, your alliance with NDPP, mm -hmm. it has survived five years. Yes. Uh, you think uh, this election, you will get past the 30 mark? Together? Yes. I'm sure we will pass the 30 mark. Uh -huh. Because there are so many rebels, uh, more from the BJP, maybe less from the NDPP. Is it going to be a factor? I was surprised that in a state, small state like Nagaland, 13 parties, national parties, regional parties together, contesting elections. Well, I think um, the people of Nagaland today really aspire to see change. Mm -hmm. Really aspire to be in tune and in pace with the rest of the country mm -hmm. and with the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And politics is one factor that really, you know, can do that to a lot of extent. Mm -hmm. So you can see why there has been a lot of uh, people, rebels from the BJP. Mm -hmm. Again, I told you, more the Modi factor. What is the Modi factor in Nagaland? You know, he is somebody that anyone can relate to. Mm -hmm. In Nagaland also? Absolutely. You go to a village and then you ask about Modi. They'll say, my name is Chawal Deta. And especially for a rice eating state like Nagaland. Right. Where 99% of the people eat rice. Right. During the pandemic and through the pandemic. And after the pandemic also, mm -hmm. you know, even now a little bit of the pandemic still exists, but that kind of schemes, that kind of providence has never been there. Mm -hmm. You know, farmers getting 6,000 rupees in a year to 2,000 every four months mm -hmm. directly into their account without paying commission to nobody mm -hmm. or to politicians or to anybody. Mm -hmm. It's a sea change. Right. You know, villager can go walk up to the one of the best hospitals and go with a card and then you know, get treatment mm -hmm. for up to five lakhs. Mm -hmm. I'm not just saying that for the sake of saying, I, I, we meet them every day. Right. You know, villagers come, they say, oh, sir, we have taken uh, treatment under this, that. Uh -huh. And that is how Modi is known. Uh -huh. And our traditions and our culture are very ancient. The Naga traditions and the culture. We have our, we respect our elders. We respect those people who love us. Mm -hmm. We adore. Mm -hmm. Not that Modi ji goes to every village, no. But his kind deeds and the law making and the policy making that Modi ji's government has done, the BJP led government has done, mm -hmm. has really reached till the last man. What about, what about infrastructure? You can see, our roads have increased, uh -huh. our highways have improved, uh -huh. many more highways have been allocated, uh -huh. many more infrastructural developments are going on. Uh -huh. See, to see a sea change happen, uh -huh. 
it will surely take some time. But in such a remote place mm. like Nagaland, mm. in these uh, border areas also, mm. now you will see some of the best national highways and scenic and beautiful ones, which many a times I've tweeted also. Yeah, you have, and that's fantastic. So, uh, uh, do you deliberately use your Twitter handle to promote Nagaland in some manner? Nagaland and the Northeast. Uh -huh. Not to be a greater politician, no, not at all. Uh -huh. A narrative, uh -huh. a bridge. What is the narrative? The narrative that this is our land and this belongs to all of us. To India? Yes. And this is how we are. Uh -huh. You know, the, sometimes you will just see some small kids playing in the village and then you tweet about it, you write about them, you see the things that are going on. Right. I have this newspaper from today. From and uh, it has this story that BJP has won one assembly constituency already because it is elected unopposed. Absolutely. What does this mean? Because uh, Nagaland has the distinction of uh, having an oppositionless assembly. So, ये क्या हो रहा है? Opposition है नहीं? Congress आपने बिल्कुल खत्म कर दिया और सिर्फ एक एक तरफ का सारा लोग हैं. ऐसे is this good? How how is it seen? Is it good for democracy? See. कांग्रेस को क्यों खत्म कर दिया आपने? नहीं कांग्रेस को किसी ने खत्म नहीं किया। हमारे ख्याल से वो लोग खुद जानते हैं कि वो उनको वो लोग सीन से हट गया। हम लोग कांग्रेस को खत्म करने के लिए हम लोग काम नहीं करते हैं। या कोई अन्य दल को यू नो हटाने के लिए हम लोग काम नहीं करते हैं। हम लोग अपना काम करते ह� and Mr. Kazetu Kinemi, yeah. the Honorable MLA yeah. uh, from Akhuluto, yeah. Bhagwan Ka Admi uh -huh. he is such a good man. Uh -huh. He works very hard. Okay, you mentioned Bhagwan, so in Nagaland there is a lot of role in Bhagwan. Ka role hai. Like, a lot of church uh, influence, civil society influence on elections. The church says, play these songs, don't play these songs. Uh, how does it go with the overall political narrative and the fact that you are from the BJP? See, BJP is comfortable with church? Absolutely. Huh. Uh, this time when I was uh, in the uh, CEC meeting in Delhi, uh -huh. Modi ji took, the huh. Honorable Prime Minister took at least 20 minutes huh. to all the Honorable members who were there, including the Home Minister Amit Shah ji, Rajnath ji, huh. Mahinder Pandey ji, you huh. know, B.L. Santosh ji, that huh. why don't we connect with the church? Huh. Why don't we work together with the church? Uh -huh. You know? Because in Nagaland, we contextualize the Swaj Bharat Abhiyans also. Mm -hmm. We say that we are a political party, but why don't you uh, go and clean the church compounds or anything like that? Uh -huh. You know, because Swachta. Uh -huh. you know? So the church is fully involved uh, with the BJP as a political party in the sense they engage, you interact with them? We interact. They are not involved because the church is uh, not a political party. Uh -huh. The church involves with every political party in ter terms of no, it's prayer. It's really a little different with the BJP because BJP is seen as a Hindu party. See, the mainland of our nation uh -huh. has more Hindus in population. Mm -hmm. We have 77, 78% Hindu population in this country. Right. Our leaders mm -hmm. are devout Hindus. Mm -hmm. Here in Nagaland, our leaders they were are devout Christians, Christians. Yeah. and there is no issue between our leaders in Delhi or elsewhere or the leadership here in Nagaland. So I think taking the BJP party as a visionary party uh -huh. with a development centric party uh -huh. you know, to reach out and it's also I would put it a Bharatiya party. Right. आपको क्या लगता है कि क्या चीजें मिलके आई कि आप एक फिनोमेनन बन गए हैं जैसे आपने कुछ थोड़े दिन पहले लिखा था कि कोई ढूंढ रहा था गूगल पे इमजन इमना वाइफ समबडी इज़ लुकिंग फॉर योर वाइफ देखो ये भी कोफ्चे वाले बात है ना बहुत लोगों को ये सोच सोचा होगा क्योंकि वो छोटे-छोटे आंखों � वो सुनील देवदार जी के कार्यक्रम में मैं जब गया और ये सब हुआ 
सो ऑब्वियसली इट्स ह्यूमन नेचर सोचा होगा कि इतना मोटा सा आदमी है सौ किलो से ऊपर तो है ही है तो उसकी पत्नी भी कैसा लगता होगा तो भारत इतना विशाल देश है कि पत्नी को ढूंढने लगा तो नहीं मिला उन लोगों को पर आपको मिला ऑब्वियसली नहीं सो थैंक यू सो मच टेम जिन फॉर टॉकिंग टू अस अ ग्रेट कॉन्वर्सेशन एंड एज आई सेड एज आई सेड इन द बिगनिंग लाइक मेरी कॉम इज अबाउट मेन स्ट्रीमिंग नॉर्थ ईस्ट इन स्पोर्ट्स पर हैप्स टेम जिन इज अबाउट मेन स्ट्रीमिंग नॉर्थ ईस्ट इन पॉलिटिक्स इन द मेन लैंड Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.